Hi, everyone. Mr. Hawkins with Hawkins Tech. And today, Apple released iOS 26 Developer Beta 9. And this time, I actually am running the update. I currently switched my public beta to a developer beta via creating a developer account on the Apple developer website. And the file size of the update was 2.48 gigabytes. That is on a product red, on my product red iPhone 12. It was also released alongside iPad OS 26 beta 9, which I'm installing on my iPad Air from 2020, Watch OS 26 beta 9, TV OS and HomePod OS 26 beta 9, and I also believe Mac OS 26 Tahoe beta 9 is out as well. Now let's go ahead and take a look at that build number and we can talk about what's new. So under settings, general, and about, the build number for iOS 26 beta 9 has a build number of 23A. 5336A. And that is the build number for iOS 26 developer beta 9. And I am currently running the developer account. Now, just like beta 8, this is a refinement update. So liquid glass should be pretty smooth on the iOS 26 update. And if we go into the lock screen here, customizing the font should work pretty smooth on the clock. That is one of my favorite features. There really isn't a whole lot, but Apple developer did get some updates. You can see, if I'll give it a second to load here, it talks about liquid glass and different things like that. As liquid glass is one of the all new things in iOS 26. Now, as far as performance, it performs pretty great. If I go into the app library and do some scrolling, iOS 26 beta 9 performs exceptionally well. And now, Let's take a look at battery life on my iPhone 12. Taking a look at that battery life. Once I give it a second to load, of course. You can see I've had three hours, 51 minutes screen on time, 58 minutes screen off time. I never get good battery life out of this iPhone as it is, as it is a couple of years old. And I'm currently installing it. It is verifying the update on my iPad Air. I may do a separate video for the iPad, but there really isn't much new. But as far as what else to expect, well, now that we have iOS 26 beta 9, surprisingly, next week, I would expect the RC. I would expect iOS 26 RC. And because I'm a developer, I will be installing that update. I'm not developing any apps, of course, but I will be installing that update on my iPhone 12. However, after the RC, we will get the final release. Then we're going to get iOS 26.1, and I'm not installing that update. I am not installing that update until at least beta 4 or the RC. As that update, the point 0.1 beta 1 updates are usually buggy. So I'm staying away from that update. I'm still going to have my Apple developer account. But I am staying away from iOS 26.1 beta 1. I might catch it at the beta 4 update or RC update. Now, if you are having bugs, you can always report it in feedback. And I have no idea how to work this app as I still have no idea how to submit feedback. But I will have to figure that out as I'm now a beta tester for the iOS 26 update. 
But if you are reporting or if you have any bugs, you can always report it in the feedback app. And I will have a short video for my YouTube and TikTok as well. As far as anything else, well, overall, iOS 26 Beta 9 performs exceptionally well. It is a great update. It is really amazing. Performance is great on the update. And I will talk about it on Saturday some more. And I will talk about it creating a YouTube short for TikTok and YouTube as well. And speaking of my YouTube channel, let's take a look at it here. I have currently 323 subscribers and a comment on one of my videos. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Mr. Hawkins with Hawkins Tech, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.